everyone and welcome back to Lily Ho Cattle. Um, so as promised, this is just a more comprehensive video of my top tips for um, candid livestock photos, uh, especially in pastoral settings. Um, so yeah, so let's jump right into it. Um, so if y'all follow me on Instagram, you probably saw I did like a really short reel with just like my top three tips. Um, so some of these will be included in here, but there'll be a couple that I didn't um, go over in that reel. So first off, don't be afraid to get down and dirty. It makes for a much more interesting perspective if you can get down low. It's, so we see everything at eye level normally, and when you get down low, you capture kind of a setting or a, an angle that we're not used to seeing, so it makes for a much more interesting dramatic photo. All right, my next tip is don't be afraid to get up close and personal. Sometimes I like to just capture the nose, the texture of the cow's nose, or something like that, or even their eye, or just a profile. You know, and something that we're not used to seeing up close either, where you can really see the texture. You know, we're kind of used to seeing them further away and whatnot. Um, so again, this is just making it more interesting and more unique, you know. It's not just a photo of them standing out in the pasture, you know, there's some angles to it and it's up close and you're getting to see texture that you normally wouldn't. So then there's also golden hour versus just normal daylight hour. So golden hour is the hour after the sun rises in the morning and the hour before the sun sets in the evening and the, the sun is lower so that there's less harsh shadows and whatnot like that. Um, I do shoot a lot of my photos midday because that's when I'm out at the farm. Um, and I mainly, I just, when it comes to editing, I tend to kind of fix some of the harsh shadows then. Um, but it really is preference. I don't think either one's wrong. Sometimes midday you can get a nice dramatic photo. All right, my next tip is try to have a clear background. Now obviously you won't always be able to do this especially out in the pasture, there'll be trees and whatnot. But I do like a more open picture with less clutter. The less I can have in the background, the better, and that's even including trees and whatnot. Sometimes I don't mind it for, uh, you know, just depending on the style of photo I'm doing. Um, but in general, I try to keep the, f the photo as least cluttered as I can. The next tip is be patient. You are working with animals so you're always going to have to be patient when you're doing that. It'll take some time to get some of the photos that you're looking for um, and just always be ready to take a photo. I try to bring my camera with me most of the time and um, that way if I do see a good photo opportunity I have it there ready to go. Um, but yeah be patient and don't try to force it. If you try to force it a lot of times, you're just not gonna get a good shot. Um, but yeah. My next tip is to invest in a camera and especially a 30 millimeter lens or something like that. That's just gonna give you so much more dynamic in your photos and and um, you know the 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 lenses on the camera give you more of a range of depth and whatnot. Uh, you're just not going to get it on the phone. I know that like there is a portrait mode, but it's just not the same. Um, so I would, I would suggest investing in a camera, and I'll put in the description uh, the camera and the lenses that I use. All right, second to last, you know your cattle best. They're probably going to be the best and the most easygoing when you go out there to take photos when you're doing your normal chores. So don't like go out there in a weird car or something like when you're going to do the photos like just kind of be normal go out there to do your normal stuff and just bring your camera along or use your phone and take the photos then and also you just know the behavior of your cattle mine don't mind me just running you know walking around in the pasture taking photos of them they're kind of used to it if I crouch down they're like oh whatever you know, um, so yeah, you know, you know your cows best. You can bait them with food if you need to, all that sort of stuff. So yeah. All right. Last but not least, editing. I love to use Lightroom, and I use several presets. You know, for different depends on the lighting, different times of the day. Um, but I love those presets. It helps my Instagram feed be so much more uniform and kind of have an overall vibe. Um, so I would highly recommend using Lightroom and playing around with 
they already have some presets on there that you can kind of combine and make your own or you can just edit everything as normal contrast white balance clarity all that and save that in as a preset um, just like a lot of other photo editing apps and they also have a lot of good presets made by other users and you can kind of browse those libraries so yeah I'll also put a link to Lightroom um, below but yeah I highly recommend Lightroom and just using a preset or something and this is just I, I'm talking in relation to Instagram it's just it gives my feed an overall uniformity um, and I just find it more aesthetically pleasing all right well I hope you found this useful and please feel free to follow us on Instagram I do daily posts there you can stay up to date with everything and whatnot um, but yeah let me know in the comments if there's another video you want me to make or anything. Um, I'll still be doing some of the vlogs and whatnot, but I thought I would just kind of do more of a how-to um, just to give you guys some sort of content that you could find useful. Um, so yeah, until next time, um, see ya.